What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today Zer invaded Destiny's Instagram page and revealed to us a few exotics coming in the Taken King. So let's get into the exotics. For the first one we have an exotic titan helmet called the Empyrean Bellicose and its description reads this barely understood golden age technology once held aloft the floating gardens of Pomona Mons. Now it's stopping bullets. And then on the right, Xur says, Titans fly like the shadows with the Empyrean Bilikos. Aiming your weapons while in the air will hold you in place for a short time. And orbs collected when your super is full will recharge your melee ability. So overall, it looks like a pretty average helmet in my opinion. Um, the perk of giving you orbs when your super is full kind of is average as well just because Titans don't really have good melees anyway. Uh, maybe Defender Titan might benefit most from this, uh, but overall that's not that great of a perk. And then giving them an Angel of Light ability is kind of cool because they're able to get a Warlock ability, but also it doesn't seem like it would be really good in many situations. So maybe there might be a situation in a mission or in the raid or something in the DLC that uh, we'll be able to use this helmet effectively, but for now it seems like a pretty average one. And then next up we got a new exotic for the hunter called Sealed Ahamkara's Grasp and it's a exotic gauntlet for the hunter. Its description reads, plating the Ahamkara bones in silver helps to quiet the auditory hallucinations, O oh, bearer mine. So I don't know what that means but the description on the right from Zur says, hunters, the sealed Ahamkara grasps are filled with nightmare fuel. They will provide you with an additional melee charge and your melee damage will have a chance to reload your primary weapon. So that's pretty cool. I think this one's going to be a pretty decent exotic off the bat. Uh, just because for the Night Stalker, the melee is actually a smoke grenade or a smoke, which are pretty good. They look pretty powerful when we saw the Red Bull stream for Rift. Um, and also some gameplay from people from E3. So off the bat, it looks like that's going to be pretty good. And if you can damage someone with your smoke, it automatically uh, reloads your primary for you. So that's really good. You may never have to reload your primary. And being able to have two of those, two charges of it, uh, sounds really good for Crucible. So that's pretty good. Also, if you're using a Blade Dancer, it gives you double blink strike. So if you're using like Backstab and they haven't fixed the perk on it where you can front stab them and still get a one hit kill uh, that can give you possibly two one hit kills since you got two charges of it so that's really good as well so um, this one seems pretty good a lot better than the titan one in my opinion and then next up they show us a new warlock exotic called the alchemist's raiment and this one is a exotic chess piece for the warlock so this one's text reads to reshape the world piece by piece thought by thought all it takes is a little reshuffling of particles. And on the right side, Zer says, Warlocks reshape the world and turn iron to gold with the alchemist's raiment. Collecting primary ammo will give you a chance to gain glimmer. Orbs collected when your super is full, recharge your grenades and melee. So this one seems a little bit average as well. I don't really care for the perk of giving you glimmer when you collect primary ammo. I think that's a little bit situational. I mean, not really situational, but I think that's not really too beneficial. It will be helpful if you're trying to glimmer farm, but other than that, it's not very um, helpful in a lot of like combat situations, I feel. But the second perk about orbs collected when your super is full, recharging both your grenade and melee cooldown is really good. Um, for Sunsingers in my opinion just because Sunsingers when you're using Fireborn you pretty much hold your super until you die and you need to use your Fireborn in a certain like clutch scenario or to save your team or in a certain situation uh, where it's necessary to use it but other than that you pretty much hold on to your super for a long time so being able to collect orbs that replenish your uh, grenade and melee can be helpful for Sun Singers, and that's the only thing I see right now um, that could be useful out of this exotic. But other than that, uh, the perk for Glimmer is kind of average in my opinion. And then next up we get some new exotic weapons. So for the first one we have the Sleeper Simulant Heavy Fusion Rifle. This one was actually revealed to us in a Game Informer video slash article. And uh, we get more information on it a little bit. So this one's text reads... Subroutine Echolos status equals complete midnight exigent 
status equals still in progress. So I don't really know what that means, but on the right we get sleeper simulant, a fusion rifle equipped in your heavy slot. This weapon's laser tears through enemies and ricochets on hard surfaces. So kind of what we already know about it. Um, it still looks really good in this picture. It looks like a really cool exotic. A lot of people are going to want to collect it and we'll see how powerful it is. Based off of the short gameplay that we have seen of it, it looks pretty cool to use and I can't wait to get my hands on it. And also based on what everyone's saying, it's going to be pretty interesting to acquire because we have to collect a bunch of pieces and assemble it to create this gun or to get the gun. So pretty cool. Um, I can't wait for that. Um, that adds a lot to the game because it pretty much gives you a quest or a task uh, just to obtain this exotic. So that's pretty cool. And then next up, we got a new exotic shotgun called the Chaperone. And this one reads, my mother had a shotgun we called the Chaperone. Kept us alive out there before we got to the city. And this one is a quote from Amanda Holiday, who is the uh, ship person or ship lady in the tower. So um, this is pretty cool. This is actually the Tex Mechanica shotgun, I believe, that a lot of people were showing or talking about in uh, some of those trailers that we got to see. Um, when they were spinning around that shotgun. So this is actually the one that we've been seeing in the footage of those trailers. And on the right side, Zer says that the Chaperone Exotic Shotgun fires a single slug shot and grants an agility boost when equipped. Your precision kills will grant a brief increase to handling range, rate of fire, and stability. So that's really good, um, just boosting all those base stats. Also, agility looks really good on this shotgun as well. So... I think this shotgun is going to be pretty decent in my opinion, especially with the single slug shot. Uh, we actually never had that with a shotgun in this game yet, but I think it's going to be really good because with the single slug, it kind of creates um, that uh, shot package effect on the shotgun. Because what shot package does is it condenses the spread of your bullets, and so since you have a single slug, there's no spread in your shot since it's just a single bullet itself so it kind of creates that shot package effect which could maybe mean that the range on this thing would be really good and really effective so we'll see how good it is actually in game after we get to experience it but it looks pretty good as of right now and then finally for the last exotic that Zer showed us we got the Telesto which is an exotic fusion rifle and this one reads vestiges of the Queen's Harbingers yet linger among Saturn's moons. And on the right side Zer says this fusion rifle will attach projectiles to your foes and detonate with a delayed void blast. Multi kills with this weapon will drop orbs for your allies. So that looks pretty good off the bat. Um, this exotic fusion rifle also looks really nice. I like the artwork and design of it as well. And um, being able to get multi kills to drop orbs looks really good because if it creates a blast of void um, after you shoot projectiles of it or shoot it and it attaches with projectiles, um, it looks like it's going to be pretty easy to get multi kills, especially in PvE. So. This one looks like it's going to be really good in PvE, especially for crowd control when you got a lot of enemies, like a lot of thralls or something like that. So maybe this one will be one of the best PvE exotics, um, but off the bat it looks really good and I like the design of it as well. So that's about it for all the Taken King exotics that Zer revealed today on Instagram. Let me know what you guys think about all the new exotics. Uh, some of them look really good. I like all the new artwork on them as well. Uh, they look pretty cool, they look fresh and new, and I can't wait to try out some of these exotics and uh, see what else we got in terms of newer exotics coming to Destiny. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Also, there was a trailer that was revealed today about the legendary edition of Taking King, so I'm going to play that at the end of this video as well. And that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. I will take them all. Guardians are fighting on Earth and beyond. Join them. Push back the darkness.
Get Destiny the Taken King and the Complete Destiny Adventure in the Legendary Edition.